Okay, this is the Audio-Technica transmitter. I'm going to buzz you through the menu real quick. Hold the set button down and you may notice the menu button appears. In menu mode, this is how you set the uh, frequency to match your receiver. You set the receiver first, then the transmitter. Let's buzz through it real quick. You can set the uh, frequency, RF mode, decibels, lock or no lock, the mic or instrument, go to factory presets, and quit. So you hit the quit mode and you're back and working. So let's set, let's buzz through each one and set one of these. Hold the set button down. Now, if we want to adjust this, we hit the set button again and we're in edit. So we go down and we hold this button down. We get to the frequency that our receiver's at. You can move quickly holding the buttons down, up or down. Go one or two, hold the button in, and it's stored but we're still in menu mode. Go down to RF. RF comes in low or high. Uh, high is not the factory default. It uses more power. Let's go to high. And not only does it use more power, but they say if you have several wirelesses going, it may interfere. But let's set it on high for the heck of it. Next, uh, the default setting is plus 6 dB for the mic that comes with the Audio-Technica. If you want to set it, hit edit and the edit button is flashing above it. Let's move it to minus six. Hit set, hold it down, stored. Next is lock or no lock mode. You can lock this puppy. Let's go in the edit mode. Power lock so no one can turn it off. Uh, mute lock and all lock. If you have the power lock on, that's very handy to have all lock on if this was a stick mic, because it's, if it's being passed around the audience, but with a guy wearing a lav, I really don't lock it much. And keep in mind, if you went to uh, all lock, um, not even you can turn it off. So we'll set it to all lock. See, I didn't hold the set button down long enough, and it went into escape mode. So we'll touch it again, go into all lock, hold it down until it's stored, and not even I can turn it off. Let's go to uh, quit. So we quit. And look it, we can't even turn it off. So we'll go back into menu mode by touching this once. Scan down to the lock mode. Hit set again. Now we're in edit and we'll go to no lock. Hold it down so it's stored. Next is mic or line. Hit the set button once. You can go to instrument. It's not mic or line, it's mic or instrument. Uh, you can hook a guitar up to it, maybe a, a wireless keyboard or whatever you have. And I'm going to actually set this to instrument, even though we're not using it. We could touch this once and it escapes. Hit edit mode, hold it down, and it's stored. Now, factory preset. Here's what I do every now and then. I don't know who's been messing with this, especially if you get this from a rental house. Hit it once, you're in load mode. Hit it again, you escaped. See, I, I uh, didn't hold it long enough. Hit it once, you're in load mode. Hold this down, factory defaults. Hold it down again until you hit stored. Now we went to uh, uh, factory defaults. Let's buzz through what happened. It went back to RF low, factory default. It went to plus 6 dB, which is for the mic that comes with it, factory default. It went to no lock. It went back to mic mode. And so doing the factory default gets you back to the settings where you know that, hey, you got a good shot at this working. And then you can hit quit and go out. So that's all there is to it. So just remember one thing. Hit this once, you're in menu mode. Hit it again, and now you're editing uh, where you're at. But let's say you didn't want to edit the frequency. Hit it again, and you escape. So you can go to where you want to be, and then do your editing. For example, this must be set to match your receiver. And you get to your number, hold it, and that's all there is to it. Then you buzz on down to uh, escape or quit, touch it, and there you are.